There are some basic new user operating procedures you need to learn before riding a golf board. All new users should briefly practice riding a golf board prior to heading out to the course. This new user practice session must be conducted in an open, flat, grassy area with no obstacles or pedestrian traffic. The first step is to learn how to properly use the handheld remote or stability bar thumb throttle. Whether you are using a board with a wireless remote or thumb throttle, you need to familiarize yourself with the on-off, forward reverse, and high-low switches. The high-low switch allows you to set the maximum speed to either 6 or 12 miles per hour. All new users should practice operating their golf board in low until they feel highly confident in their golf boarding ability. Before turning on the golf board, make sure no one is depressing the remote trigger or stability bar thumb throttle, then proceed to turn the power switch on the board to the on position, as well as move the on off switch on the remote or stability bar to the on position. Prior to getting on the board, it is recommended that you first practice gradually moving the board forward, stand to the side of the board, making sure your feet and shins are safely away from the wheels. If you have a wireless remote, be sure to gradually squeeze the trigger to accelerate. Do not fully depress the trigger suddenly or all at once, but always slowly accelerate by gradually depressing the trigger. The same applies to a board with a thumb throttle. While standing to the side of the board, slightly depress the thumb throttle mounted on the stability bar. The board will slowly move a few feet forward. You can walk slowly alongside, perfecting your skill of controlling the board's speed. Once again, Always gradually depress the thumb throttle and accelerate the board slowly. Next, switch the board to reverse and practice the same skill of slowly moving the board, but this time in reverse. Stepping on and off the golf board should be done slowly and carefully, just in case you are on uneven terrain. The user should stand in the traditional surfer stance, which is sideways on the board with feet shoulder width apart. Feet should be slightly staggered with the toes of the front foot on one edge and the heel of the other foot on the opposite edge. This surfer stance with a slight staggered foot position provides the greatest amount of stability and leverage to steer the board. Like a snowboarder or surfer, users simply shift their body weight from one side of the board to the other in order to turn. As weight is increasingly applied to one edge of the board, the wheels pivot, causing the board to turn. All golf boards are equipped with a stability bar. The stability bar can also be pushed or pulled right or left to enhance turning ability. However, the rider should primarily use the shifting of their weight from toes to heels as the principal way to steer a golf board. The stability bar moves with the board and provides an added point of control. To ensure maximum stability, all users should firmly hold the stability bar at all times while the board is moving. The stability bar helps the new user with staying properly balanced as well as greatly assisting in the steering of the board. The stability bar can also be used to secure a golf bag. It is important to make sure that tie down straps are securely in place prior to operating the golf board in order to avoid the bag and clubs falling in front of the board. Always remember to press the trigger very slowly to accelerate. Additionally, make sure you are firmly gripping the stability bar with one hand prior to pressing the remote trigger or thumb throttle. The golf board does not have a separate braking mechanism. When the trigger or thumb throttle is released, the wheels will lock in order to keep the board from rolling away and allow you to have a secure structure to dismount. Depending on your speed, the board generally takes approximately one second or slightly less than 30 feet to come to a complete stop. It is important for all users to always look ahead and operate the board a safe distance from all obstructions, people, golf carts, and other golf boarders. So maintaining an appropriately safe distance from all objects is critical to safe use. When operating the board near other people or fixed objects, it is important to proceed slowly so you do not run into a friend or other objects. Once stopped, the golf board will not move until the user engages the trigger or thumb throttle again. As a general rule, it is best to stop the board on a flat, open area. If on steep terrain, the board should always be parked sideways to the fall line in order to ensure the board does not move. 
golf board has sufficient power to climb even the steepest hills, so it can be used on any course. Simply maintain smooth throttle control and the board will climb reliably up almost any hill. When traveling downhill, you will need to continue to provide slight, continuous pressure to the trigger or thumb throttle to keep the board moving. Even on a steep hill, if you fully lit off the trigger or thumb throttle, you will come to a complete stop. When pulling up to the sand trap, tee box, or green, try to park your board in a way that makes it easy to advance to your next shot by parking parallel to any obstacles. If you find yourself blocked by an obstacle that prevents you from going forward, just switch your board to reverse and slowly back away until you have enough room to go around the obstruction. When riding a golf board, look ahead at the terrain and plan your course. Golf boarding can be the most exciting way to enjoy golf on any course. However, it is important to always make safety the top priority. The golf board is a motorized vehicle and the user needs to operate it with the same attention to safety as a golf cart or any motorized vehicle. You must not be under the influence of alcohol or drugs when golf boarding. You must obey all the same rules as a golf cart. Remember to stay off the fringe and greens, stay off the tee boxes, and do not drive your golf board through water. Do not drive your board out of bounds or into restricted areas. New users need to remember to treat their golf board with respect and do not misplace their remote. Also, never allow others to hold your remote while you are on the board. All new riders are required to use the golf board with a stability bar in place for a minimum of 18 holes and until they are highly confident that they can use the board without it. Only individuals with good balance and significant physical agility should use a golf board with a stability bar removed. This includes the physical ability to both jump and run. If you feel you have not sufficiently mastered the basic skills necessary for safe and proper golf board operation during your new user practice session, you should not go out onto the course. Safe use is your responsibility while the golf board is in your possession. Never let anyone try your golf board without a proper new user orientation and previously watching the safety video, plus accepting all terms of the golf board liability waiver and release. While the golf board is in your possession, you assume all responsibility and liability. Our golf board team is confident that in a short time, golf boarding will become as popular as golf itself. We hope you enjoy surfing the earth as much as we do and that you become a golf board fan for many years to come. For more information on golf boarding, go to golfboard.com.